Breeze and family, it's your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we biking this thing to talk about Blood and Water Season 3. Yes. Oh, man. If you ain't seen Season 1 or Season 2, you need to go check it out. This is a show that's based in Africa. Yes. Africa. Africa. Okay, why are you saying And I think we then did reviews on it. Yeah, we have. We have yeah. previous So, reviews, so. if you wanted to, uh, you know, find out what the other season was about, go check out our videos. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Maybe we'll, we'll like, about it. link it somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it is uh, a show based in Africa about two girls. This is a quick recap. About two girls that uh, one was kidnapped at birth. Right. So we think. Yeah. Because technically. She was kidnapped though. I mean, I guess she was kidnapped. Uh, but she but was like. Her father, not her father. Her, we thought was her father <laughs> at the beginning. Had it all set up and planned. But he didn't want it to happen But he didn't want that to happen. Point. So then it got cut. If you he didn't the take show, the money. So it. he say, <laughs> we don't know really. You know what I'm saying? He say he didn't take okay, it. Okay, okay. But anyway, yeah, so it's about that. So then the girl, uh, her name is Poulain. Mm -hmm. She goes off on this huge search to find her sister because, right. for one, I feel like she was just tired of her mom having them celebrate her sister's birthday. Right, even though without her birthday being there. Without her being there. Yeah. Without her sister being there. Hold on, now that I think about it. Was they supposed to be twins? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. okay Poulain cool. is like a year younger than her or something. Okay. But okay. she always felt like she was like a replacement for the baby that got kidnapped mm, basically okay, okay. so See, then yeah it. so they're it's only so like long. a year apart because i yeah i want to say fix the that's how you say yeah because poulang is in 11th grade yeah and, and is in 12th senior. grade yeah. yeah okay so i mean it's a great show if you have not seen it go watch it's all a drama of series. the seasons so we all know we know y'all like drama series that's like probably one of the top genres out there yeah definitely um and i think that this season if i had to rate just this season alone I would give it like a seven. Yeah, I was going to say a seven. It had really slow moments and then it had like really good moments. So it's kind of like the really good moments make up for the really slow moments. But yeah, because it's like you didn't watch two seasons of it already. You want them to so just we get gonna to need, the point. So we're going to need to see <laughs> what's going to happen in the third season. Right. Which it already looks like it's going to be set up for a fourth season. Right, yeah. as well. So, which I don't know what they're really gonna do, and I guess it's more going after the people who set up all of the stuff. But, anyways, it's a good show. I would say go check it out. I really enjoyed it. It was a good drama, but like I said, I give it like a seven. It has slow moments and that has really good moments. Um, I do love that like Poulain and Fakile have like actually been able to. They have much more like sister moments, which I love um, just because obviously they're reconnecting in their teenage years, which can be kind of awkward. Um, so I do love that, um, that, you know, they're kind of showing them foster that relationship a little bit and to not see them be so like against each other, but more like, okay, we're going to work together to figure out you know, what's going on, who did this, why did they do it, you know, and kind of get to the bottom of all of the things. See, me, I feel like they rushed that part. Because uh, we found out so fast that who actually, you know, started to set everything up. Right. And then what I, okay, spoiler alerts <laughs> right here. From this point on, it's going to be spoiler okay. alerts. What got me tripping is, so Poulain's, not Poulain, Fix, mm -hmm. her not biological dad. second dad <laughs> with the bald head. The he had, dad so she he grew didn't, up with. Yeah, the dad okay. she, grew, he, she grew up with. So he ain't know nothing about it, I don't, that's what I don't, that's what's not making sense but to me. But he said that he left the mom for a couple of months. 
And when he came back, she had a baby. And he thought that she adopted the baby. So that's what happened. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how somebody, it goes. In somebody South Africa, somebody but... made that make somebody make that make sense for me because all right, so you left for a few months, came back, she got a baby now. She saying she adopted. Mm -hmm. Y'all living together in this house. You ain't asked no questions. Like I'm sure you asked questions, but they clearly made it seem like a legitimate type of like adoption. They literally went through an adoption agency. So like, why would he question it? Like, oh, that's that missing girl. Oh like, no, it's he's just not gonna question that. It's just some. Um, I guess it's just some things that just ain't making no sense to me because the agency they went through then. Uh, the lawyer dude. Uh, what's the what's the dude name that KB? Uh, KB. Mm -hmm. Then they go through the adoption agency with his parents, right? Yeah, yeah. And ain't the daddy like a lawyer, a lawyer or something? Yeah. And the I mom don't know. worked at the adoption agency. They all just agency. were seeming sketchy to me. I was like, yeah. these motherfuckers are sketchy. I mean, it, and... does, it does seem like how could this guy have been so oblivious as to what was going on? All of this time, but I but, can say he loved that little girl. Yeah, he though. does. He does. I mean, he loves her like that is his child. And I mean, and she still considers him, right? You know, and like he's a dad, going so. through the whole process with her, like, yeah, and he's very supportive of her. Right, that's love. what I'm saying. He's very supportive, and right. he's not like, mm, I don't think you should do right, that. Why are you worried right? about? Yeah, no, he's like with it. She said yeah. she want to meet her biological dad he's like all right well you know, that, you know that's cool it, with me you know and i i love that that did add that aspect in there that he was so supportive because i think it's important when all of these other people around Fakile are just like so trifling basically <laughs> like the adults that she had that one person that was like supportive of her throughout this whole and this seems like it's a complete opposite a complete change because I don't, if I'm I'm trying to remember if season one it seemed like he was kind of like they had him it seemed like he was like the bad guy yeah the, I mean he wasn't there as much I feel right like. so they kind of made it seem like he wasn't as present it made but, it seem like he was like the big boss like mm -hmm. we ain't gonna cross him or nothing like right. that or I don't know but it, it in turn turned out to be the mom that was doing all the bull on the side. Actually, all three of the mamas in here was doing some BS. They really was. But different levels, though. Different because levels. Fix, the lady that kidnapped her, mm -hmm. which she was living with this whole time, obviously kidnapped her. So there right. was some BS she was right. on. KB mama helped with the kidnapping. Oh, she she was on some savage, BS. Though. She super savage. Then got they had a gun to own them son, like I don't think you get no lower than that. Just mm -hmm. for to keep this so this Secret human trafficking right, shit right. running. And I think I think that this show really kind of speaks to like what really happens. Not in that place specifically, because I can't speak for South Africa. But I know that like human trafficking happens. Like it is a real thing that happens. It happens in the United States. It happens in other countries. Like human trafficking is something that happens. So I think that it really kind of like, it feels like the first two seasons like touched on human trafficking because technically them stealing her and selling her to somebody else is human trafficking basically. But they kind of they go even more, more in depth, depth yeah, with, as they season. started to get deeper into, like, the real trenches of, like, who these people are, this organization that people work for, you know? So, I really, I do think that it was a good show, but like I said, it had definitely had slow moments, and it had some good moments. Um, I'm glad, I, one thing I can say, I'm glad it wasn't, like, super mushy-mushy, I think, mm -hmm. um, like, it had, like, cute little relationship moments, I guess. But it stuck very much to the, like, figuring out See, that's another on. reason how I know it moved too fast. The cousin came to visit and automatically he was <laughs> in on everything. Yeah, that's the point. 
Like, and how did Buddy get a job so fast? Like, he went to the bar and bro, said, I need a job. He got a job super Man. quick. You know what I mean? People probably was already in that neighborhood trying to get a job there. And he came right in and got a job. I mean, I can't yeah, speak for the man. Maybe and then Wade. I don't. I mean, Wade is just so innocent. That's Very innocent and oblivious. But he he rides for Poulang. Okay, he that does. boy rides. For I, yeah, Poulain. they be, they I definitely better off being friends yeah. than boyfriend and girlfriend. I, yeah, I definitely think that's because I can see him is. as a a big brother to her. Yeah, type or not thing. a big brother, but just like a friend that really cares about her. Um, but not like a big, big brother. brother. Anyways, if she get a boyfriend, the boyfriend she end up back with KB. Anyways. The boyfriend ain't gonna have uh Wade coming around all the time, so Whatever. he'll be better off as being a actual big brother than I guess. Oh, but, that's my friend, and I call him my. Uh, you know, we just like brother sister. You know, no, that shit don't ride, bro. What? That's a whole different conversation. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it was a good show, though. It was a good show. Go check it out. It's on Netflix. It just came out. I think it came out sad Friday. Friday. It came so, out recently. It came out in the United States It's on a Friday. quick watch. You want to watch something, you need yeah. something to watch. Not a watch long, it. Unless not you ain't episodes. seen season one and two, then you got yeah, watch some catching up to do. Yeah, but even so, it's still not a whole, whole lot of episodes. We're not talking about like 20 episodes per season. Like We're talking about an average of six to eight episodes. So mm -hmm. you can still definitely catch up and enjoy the show. So go check it out. That's all I got to say about this show, though. What about me you? Me, too. That's it for me. So, it's been your boy, Mike. And your girl, Bree. Hey, and we out.